Hi everyone, Digital Factory has a range of packages that support vinyl cutters. For these packages, we've developed features that allow users to create, edit, or delete contour cut lines. Contour cuts can be applied in several ways. Automatically when files are imported, through the Add Contour Cut menu selection, added while in the variable data wizard, and finally in the Contour Cut dialog. In this video, we will explain how to use the Add Contour Cut feature, as well as setting up an automated contour cutting workflow. Digital Factory can generate contour cut lines automatically if the files are vector-based, like AI, EPS, or PDF, or image files that support transparency, such as PSD, TIFF, and PNG. The cut lines are generated on the opacity of the graphics. We create the cut lines around solid areas regardless of color. JPEG files cannot be used for automated contour cutting because they do not support transparency. To apply a contour cut line, you would need to use our plugin for removing the white background. Please have a look at our additional videos for general contour cutting and contour cutting in our variable data wizard. Our first example is a PNG file which has a white contour around the design to which we want to add a contour cut line. In this case, we want to use Add Contour, which creates contour cut lines on a job-by-job -job basis. First, we need to establish the settings Digital Factory will use when it applies a contour cut line. With a print and cut queue selected, go to the queue menu and select Properties. You can also double-click on the queue tab. The queue properties dialog will open and you will select Contour Cut from the Cutter section in the left column. The Contour Cut settings will appear on the right. At the top, ensure the Apply to All Incoming Jobs option is unticked. The Contour Cut settings found here are nearly the same as in the other Contour Cut dialogs found in Digital Factory. Here, you can choose which cutting process you will use using the drop down menu, including Cut Path, Contour Cut, Contour, Half Cut, Perf Cut Contour, Flex Cut, and Pounce. You can select the option Also Cut Inner Contours, which will cut the holes defined by white space within a design. Set an offset of the contour cut line from the artwork and define a corner style choosing from point, round, and miter. With the option Merge All Contours selected, you can merge multiple contours into fewer contour cut paths by defining how close or tight you want to merge the paths using the slider on the right. For a more in-depth description of this feature, please view the video Advanced Features of Contour Cutting in the Variable Data Wizard. Adjust settings for soft edge contour cuts using the slider, which is the same as the monochrome filter found in the alternative contour dialogs in the Digital Factory family of products. Define the contour accuracy by clicking the button to the right of the Contour Accuracy Options pull-down menu, found at the bottom. A dialog opens where you can define how close you want to follow the transparency by adjusting settings for how tightly or loosely to match lines, as well as how sharp corners should be. Additionally, there are options to filter out noise with the speckle filter, angle allowance to snap long lines to vertical and horizontal, and lastly, small shape accuracy, which allows you to ignore anomalies in the art. For the sticker used in this example, untick Apply to All Incoming Jobs and choose Cut Contour. Set the offset amount to 0 mm, set the corner style to round, and use 245 for the soft edge value. Press OK. With the sticker imported, right click on the job in the queue. Select Contour Cut from the menu and click Add. The contour cut line is added to the graphic without dialogs popping up. The contour cut settings previously set in the queue properties are used in the creation of the contour cut line. The result can be seen in the preview window on the right, as long as cut is part of the preview settings set in the drop down list at the top left of the preview window. We have a series of stickers to which we want to apply contour cut lines. The stickers already have a white contour and we want to create a cut line around the white area. In this situation, we want to use the automated contour cut on import. Go back to the contour cut settings in the queue properties we previously reviewed and tick Apply to all incoming jobs. Leave the other settings as they are. While remaining in the queue properties, click on the settings section and select Layout Manager. In the window on the right, select Auto Nest in the Layout Mode drop down menu and set 4 mm for the value of space between jobs. Click OK. Now, when importing a batch of images, 
and in this example it's PNG files, a contour cut line will be created for each job automatically, as shown in the preview window on the right. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, hit the like button, and if you have any questions, please reach out to us at any time. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos covering all of Catlink's products.